In this session, we're going to look at the basics of computer programming. One of the first things I want to know when learning a new computer language is how can I read something from the screen and write back to the screen. If I can do that, I know I can actually take information from the user and then give the user some information back. Or, to put it in a more technical way, take some data from the user, process that data, and then give the information back to the user. So let's go and create a very first project. To do this, we need to click on Start New Project. So we're going to click on Start New Project. And we're going to make sure that we've got Visual Basic selected. Sometimes it will be in a big list like this, and it will default on Visual C. Click on Visual Basic. Make sure you've got Windows Form Application. And then down the bottom here, we can actually put in Example. And you can call the program whatever you'd like to call it, and click on OK. This will open up a very new, a new environment for us. Now, in most cases, the toolbox won't be shown. So on the left-hand side here, select Toolbox, use the little pin, pin that out, and then sometimes it has all Windows properties shown. Just make sure you have the common controls open. This will give us all the basic ones we need for our course to start with. What we also have here is the main form or the work area. We've got an output window down the bottom. We've got a solution explorer up the top here or the project explorer. You also have a properties panel here. I slide my properties panel all the way up because we'll be working with all the objects, these objects here, and working with their control panel here. To run a program, we need to click on start. This will actually take our program, compile it, and make an executable file for a PC and allow us to interact with that. To close this program, we can either click the X here or we can click the stop button up here. I'm just gonna click the X here for the time being and that takes us back in the developer area. You notice down the bottom here, you can see the compile information and if you get errors, you'll see errors come up down the bottom here. So let's start by building that program I was talking about before. How can I take something from the user and then display it back again? So to do this, I'm going to need something like a button. Now a button allows us, when we click on it, to do something. So I could take what they've written in the first text box and display in another text box. So let's have a look at the button works. So I'm going to click on start. You notice that here's the button. You notice when the mouse comes over, it changes color. When I click, it changes color again. I can click that all I like, but there's no code associated with it, so it's not going to do anything. One of the first things you want to do when you're programming is build the GUI, the graphical user interface. Have all the elements out on the stage, so then you've got some reference points to actually write your code. So the other thing I talked about is text boxes. Now, at the moment, it's got all Windows forms. We just want the common ones. And down the bottom, you'll actually find that text box. And I'm just going to click on that and put that on the stage here. And I'm going to put another one on there as well and put it here. So what I want to happen, if I put Elmarsen in here, click the Start button, I want Elmarsen to appear in this section here. But you need to understand with programming, everything needs to have its own instance name. Everything needs to be unique. Otherwise, the computer won't understand what we're trying to do. So when we put an object on the stage like a button, it's got the name here, Button 1. That's associated down here. See where text is? Button 1. And I can change that to Start. And when I click back out on the stage, you notice the text now has changed to start. This button also has what's called an instance name. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see a option called name. And it's called button one. And that's how we can reference that via code. Here we have a text box. And once again, if I scroll all the way down the bottom, you can see its name is actually text box one. And this one here, it's actually called text box 2 and that's how the two different text boxes are unique when we write our code. Now we want to associate our code with the button so when I click on the button it'll do something that way the computer knows when to action your code. So I'm going to double click the start button and it opens up a new form for us and it's a form.vb and you notice we've got an area we can now type but it's linked to button one and it's got this underscore called click. 
Okay, and what that means is when we click on button one, and we know it's from its instance name before, button one, that was the big button. And then we can get it to do something. Okay, in this case here, we want to take what text box one has, and in particular, what about text box one? Well, we want to take the text, what people have written in that. And I want to put that in a text box two. So I'm going to go text box two dot text is equal to. So what is this telling us? Take the text out of text box one and put that into the text part of text box two. So if I go back to my form now, so when I click this button, it says whatever I've written in here, text box one, take that text and put that into text box two. So let's have a quick look at the code once more. So when I click on this button, take text text box two dot text is equal to text box one dot text. So take the text from the text box one, place it in the text part of text box two. So let's run our program. So I click start, I put Earl Marsden, I click on start, and Earl Marsden appears below. So if I put hello in here, click on start, it appears below. If I put some numbers in here like two plus two, and click on start, we only get two plus two. Because what it's actually doing is taking just the text, not numbers or a calculation. We just told it whatever is typed in here, put in here. So if I want to put a smiley face in, a smiley face appears below. So there you go, you've written your very first program. So we've created an object, we've associated some code with that object, and we've created a nice GUI interface for the user to simply write something in and appear below. Now as we go through this course, we'll expand on this basic knowledge. So practice this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.